Hi, I'm Rachel. We're here at Wild Ridge Plants in Hakon, New Jersey. We're in a thicket uh, in a planted area here on our farm, basically a woodland edge habitat. And one of the things that we first put in here was a plant called Great Solomon Seal. This area here is dedicated to edible and medicinal plants, and Great Solomon Seal is one of our favorite edible and medicinal plants. It has uses in both categories. I took one of our container plants from our nursery of Great Solomon Seal and unearthed it so you could see the root, which is one of the edible and medicinal parts. It has this beautiful fibrous root system and then it also has this rhizome that you can find several inches under the soil. This bone white root, this rhizome, this is the part that you would use medicinally and also prepare as food. For food, you would cook it, just as you might potatoes. And when these plants are mature, several years old, they'll be two, three, four times this size. So plenty of food here. They are slow growing plant. So one that you would want to harvest conservatively. And the way we would do it would be maybe take one section of this rhizome and then replant the rest so you have more for next year. The way we use it medicinally, you may notice it does look very bone-like, is actually for issues regarding joints and bones, often aches and pains, especially seems to have an affinity for the knees. So we use this in a tincture, tincture this fresh root. So you can see that right there. It's a really beautiful woodland plant. Also, for edible use, are the spring shoots. Here you can see these plants are going dormant. It's the day before Halloween here, the yellow foliage. In the spring, when the foliage is still tightly clasped around the stem, these can be prepared just as you would prepare asparagus. So, steamed, boiled, and then served fresh like that. So again, before these leaves unfurl, you want your leaves to be tightly furled to the stem. You can see, possibly on the video, where the fruits were attached. And we can tell this is Great Solomon Steel because it has more than two to three fruits per cluster. Where Solomon Seal, much more diminutive plant of the woodlands, has one to two fruits generally. So again, Rachel here at Wild Ridge Plants with Great Solomon Seal, a wonderful edible medicinal plant.